Hi everybody, Crazy Eddie here. Well, I promised some exploration this episode. And so we're going to explore. I was initially planning to use an Archimedes ship. since I do have that mod installed. But I think I will wait for that as I simply haven't had time to design and build a balloon. But I do have an idea for where I want to go and what I want to look for. So that's what I'm going to do. Most of all, I'm looking at going in a different direction than I went before. and seeing if I can find something a bit more interesting. Like a village. I don't think there are any villagers that sell cacti, but you never know. There's one that buys paper. That can be handy. Hmm. We'll visit with these guys some more later, once I have some trade goods to bring along. That's an interesting sort of overhang. And there's some oil. I really need to make a pump and some ender tanks. I actually have some uses for oil both for the plastic and for the fuel. Now that looks like a magical forest. And indeed it is. Excellent. Two silverwood saplings. Let's see if we get any more.
So it seems Hydraulicraft has brought back rubber trees, which is pretty cool. I've managed to get myself one sapling. And that tree does have a node in it. Cool. At any rate, it's a pretty good haul from this magical forest, but I still need to find a desert. Well, I was about to try a thing that I had learned with Thomcraft 4, but I can see right now that's not going to work. In Thomcraft 4, those knights will not go in the water. You can just stand in the water and swipe at them all day, and they can't do a thing about it. Doesn't seem to be that way here. Yep, that is a wet night. Not that the water isn't helpful. Oh, now it's on. Well, that didn't work out as well as I'd hoped. But hey, it's only 1,700 meters. I should leave myself a care package here at spawn sometime. So I decided, heck with it. I'm making a balloon.
This will take a little while. Well, that actually didn't take as long to build as I thought it would. Which is just fine with me. I bet I could make these chests bigger. One moment while I get a couple of upgrades. Okay. I also decided it would be a good idea to make a backup of this game. Because Archi because Archimedes airship is an extreme alpha right now. Which means there's every possibility this could break everything. Let's find out. Okay, that's interesting. I'm not making it move. Oh, I like that. Now, if I can just remember where I config the up button. One moment while I check my notes. Okay, I got this now. I still haven't set up a care package at spawn. But I'll do that after I take care of this. So, we have arrived at the scene of my death. You know, one problem I've had before with Archimedes ships, and although this has gotten a recode since then, is that when descending I would often use the crouch button instead of the separate down key. Which would quite often cause me to dismount and fall out of the ship. So I try very hard to remind myself not to do that, 
At least not until I can get close to the ground. So that I won't die if I fall out. But I am going to use the crouch button once I get down in just in the spirit of testing things out. But since I don't have an independent way to fly, I'm not going to do it from up there. And crouch. Okay, that was an interesting thing to happen. Of course, I still have to get back to the uh, steering wheel to get to remount the ship. So that's not too bad. Now I'm going to go back up a bit in the air. Align myself to the world. And unship. Unassemble, I suppose I should say. bring a bed. Not a problem. I did remember to bring a crafting table. Now, if I don't wake up outside the ship, this will be great. All right, everything's going wonderfully. Walter. Just got back to my horse. I don't want to squish him. Okay, there he is. And unmount. Sure you can. Disassemble over here. Now supposedly the latest update had something called a static bed. Ah, secured bed. But there's no recipe for it. So I'm not sure if having a bed on the boat simply makes it a secured bed. Actually I suppose I could look at it and find out. And 
Wayla says nothing about it at all. Interesting. But if that bed is now a secured bed, then that means that when the ship is disassembled, it resets my spawn point to the ship. Although I'd kind of like to not check that out right now. Right now I just want to break that grave and see if I can get my stuff back. And if I can do it without getting killed by myself, that'd be really awesome. Oh good, no evil me. No evil them either. I'm actually okay with that. Okay, I've gotten all my stuff back, and I didn't get killed by myself. And I have a lovely balloon. Okay, so I've decided to leave Walter here in this town, so this little village can now become a uh, upgraded to a one-horse town. And so I've decided to name the town Walterton. I, in the meanwhile, I'm going to take my balloon and do some more exploring. See you, Walter. That is a pretty cool looking place. Well, I have found plains and jungles and swamps and forests and taigas and mega taigas and oceans and rivers, but I have still not yet found one desert. So I think what I'm going to do for now is take what I've got and head home. I mean, sure, it would be nice if I could make some build craft fluid pipes, but it also occurs to me I've got other methods for moving liquids. At least one of which I've been wanting to try for a while. But the good news is, I have managed to get what I needed to progress in Thomcraft. Specifically the silverwood trees and even a few saplings, so I'm pretty happy with that. Next episode, I will proceed to do some more exploring with Thomcraft, as well as perhaps one or two other magic mods. 
In the meanwhile, be sure to like and subscribe. Enjoy some of my other videos. Have some fun. Build something cool. And have a nice day.